Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. So today, I'm gonna go pond hopping with the wife. And we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna go by numbers, and we're gonna see who wins. I'll let her use tiny stuff, I'll let her use whatever she wants. So, this is gonna be a little challenging because I only like to throw stuff like a spinnerbait, chatterbait, jig, you know, big things. I don't like going after a bunch of small fish. Granted, middle of winter, I'm gonna use the Ned Rig. But, let's get out here and let's see who wins. Ha ha ha! There we go, on the board. Now Maggie's not beating me. I definitely have a, have a good size here compared to her little dink. Boom, there we go, right inside of the mouth, right where you want it. All I did was change trailers and that was the difference between getting bit and not. I did have a green pumpkin trailer, so I figured, change something with a white belly, because you see bluegills and they have white bellies. So, changed it up and got a bite. Fat little chunker. There you go, bud. He was slipping out of my hands. Oh, boo on me for how bad the release was, but I'm just happy I caught a fish. So changed it up. I kept trying that bank over there. I wasn't getting any bites. So I told her to go towards the lee side. And see if there was anything over there. Over where that big uh, little that little culvert right there is. Figured, nah, there might be something stacked up over there. And then I saw I tried the windblown side. I come over here, and this place was stacked up with nothing but bluegill. So my guess is that guy was probably over here chomping on some bluegill. But that's just a guess. I'm by no means an expert. I'm just a regular guy trying to figure out a puzzle of how to catch fish. Just on a daily basis though. I just realized something. That is the first fish on the mock smash. Not too shabby if I don't say so myself. It should be a good day. It's not high barometric pressure. It's nice and overcast. It's warm, just a little bit breezy. These fish should be going nuts. My only guess is it's probably still a little on the cold side. Oh, there was one. That's definitely a swing and a miss. He was even swimming off with that. I felt, felt him moving and kicking his tail. This is frustrating sometimes. There, there he is. Swim back towards me. Got him that time. Ha. Ah. Feels heavy for such a tiny fish. He, dude, he like stunned. <laughs> he didn't even fight. At all. He's clenching. He's doing that cold water fish clench. There we go. Ha. I am beating babe. I think there's more out there too. Because I had multiple hits. Oh, 
huh? Dude, he just randomly jumped for like no reason. Acting like he's still hooked or something. <laughs> Late reaction, dude. You didn't even fight when I had you hooked. Man, the way he was swimming towards me makes me think that there's got to definitely be more out there. Because each time he went, dunk, and then you could feel him swimming away with it. Well, the first time he went left, if it was the same fish, and then the second time I felt the dunk, it was actually coming straight back towards me. I had to catch up with it. All right, I'm going to give the spinnerbait one more try, just because we're in this corner here. This makes a little cut right here maybe there's some fish pushed back into this because this is the wind blown side maybe just maybe there might be something that hut spinnerbait yep oh that feels like a good one Oh, that's a nice one. Stay pin, get up here. <laughs> yeah. Got a spinnerbait fish. Oh, and it came off for the win. That is number three, man. And that one right there is chunky. Oh, that paid off. See, this is what I was telling you guys wind blown area back in a cut all these bluegill are getting pushed back into this area and this thing is probably just feeding up on it oh that's a beautiful fish thank you very much and I knew there had to be something that wanted the spinnerbait. That was the first cast with it over there. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm banging this off of the bottom, and I feel like it hits something that's pretty decent size to it, like a big chunk of grass or a big rock, I jerk it a little bit and give it a little bit more action like it's something you know, coming up off of that rock. It seems like a lot of times you'll hit something, you'll pull, and then boom, that'll cause that reaction bite. Oh, there was a bite. Oh, come on. Blades weren't even spinning. some of this grass off. Man. See, and what I'll do is I'll work, I usually try and work at the, an area with something fast, and then once you've worked at something fast, go back slow and you can pick up some of the fish that didn't feel like hitting on that fast presentation. Oh, I, dude, I hit something big and it ran. Saw a big old wake over there. Oh, I saw a bass hit it. He was just a little guy though. Oh, there was one. How are they not getting it? Maybe I can pick up some of these fish that are just bumping the back of the spinnerbait because they're wanting to be so lethargic with a jig. I'll tell you what, this mock smash can cast pretty far. There to there is probably like, 
I don't know, like 50 yards? 50 yards, 60 yards or so? I'd say it's a pretty good cast if you ask me. Especially for a $100 combo. I mean, heck, I spent twice that on just the Shimano DC. I feel stuff bite it. I can see stuff run. I mean, unless that's some giant bluegill hitting my line as they're running away or something. Well, let's go see if Babe's caught anything. Which I don't think she did, because I'm pretty sure she'd have been yelling across the lake. But or pond or whatever. Well, we thought you were gonna win. Did uh, you catch anything while you was over here? Okay. So, did you catch anything? No, did you catch anything? Three. Three? Pretty uh, decent ones. Yeah, something like two and a half, two and a half, three pounds. Do you want to go to another pond? Although, I'm pretty sure you'd catch bluegill on that little inline spinner right there in that corner. They're all over the place. You have to take a picture with the fish or it doesn't count because I can't see you from all the way over there. Well, have a phone. Leggings with pockets. Important. I'm pretty much only going to try these two corners. This thing is kind of like an X-ish. There's a little cut on each corner. I guess it's like a elongated square with quack. Oh, there was a bite. Man. There it is. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Ha! Ah. I'm telling you, I keep getting bites, but they are short-shotting it. They're getting just the tail of the swim bait or something. You're lucky I just lost that one. What? What? You had a little bluegill? Ah. What'd you say? You had one and it went in a hole. Right here. Is there another thing here? I need it. That's not a hole, that's just a divot. Uh -oh. it's a hole. No, that goes all the way to the water, Meg. Oh, it does? Yeah, it's a muskrat hole or something. Also, he came from out of it, huh? He probably did. He probably did too. That's what I thought, but oh, I thought so Yeah, bad. yeah. I mean, he could possibly f flop. I didn't want to stick my hand up in there. Oh, there he is. I got him. <laughs> Saving a fish's life. Oh, look at that. Yay! <laughs> oh. oh my God. Uh, for, for a minute, I thought you were full of shit. Hey, babe, look, I caught one. But it fell down a hole. Guys, this bass right here, she caught it. She, and it flopped out of her hands and it went down this hole all the way down through here. And I just pulled him out. Thank you. Oh Here, grab him. Flip him. Little bass, huh? Yes, it's a baby bass. I'm so glad he saved you. Oh my god, I was gonna murder him and I could have got him out. Oh my god, thank you so Here, much. Here, picture. He saved his life. Okay, okay, you're catching up. You're really lucky I, I just lost that one at the bank as I was trying to flip it up. Oh, wow, thank you. <sighs> You're, you're, it's two to three. Thank you so much for saving his life. It's two to three. You better hope I don't catch you no more, bruh. All right, guys. I, I can't let her win. She's been doing that too much. Well, I say too much, but she's won like 
three times ever. But to me, that's too much. It's like Ricky Bobby says, if you ain't first, you're last. Always gotta be winning. Hold on. Got another dinky one? Okay. You're tied with me. Okay. Okay. I know you like to catch fishes. Man, if I lose by that one fish that I lost right at the bank, I'm gonna count it so that way I don't lose. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully that rain doesn't come too soon. Oh, and you're welcome, babe, for telling you where to go so you could catch fish. Is it a crappie? Well, I gave her that little inline spinner and I just might have sealed my own fate by doing that. Because I knew she would catch a bunch of fish. Just because it's so tiny. It's one of my tiny little trout spinners. Oh my goodness, that is the tiniest little crappie. See, I bet you some of the bites I'm getting are tiny, like those tiny little bass that she's actually catching. She's using that little inline spinner. Oh my goodness. Looks like I just might lose then. There's one. Uh, oh, come on. He literally knocked slack in my line. I couldn't even feel my spinner bait. Oh, goodness. He I just lost another one. It's a what? Oh my goodness, that is a... Oh, grab a hold of him. Isn't he the cutest? I don't want him to die. No. And I'm over here losing fish. Oh, it's starting to rain. I knew that rain would be coming soon. And babe got another one. I think at this point she's three up on me. into that other corner before that guy beats me.
she got another one. Now she's four up on me. Yeah, I see you. You're winning by four now. Well, with the rain rolling in, it looks like she might win. Oh, it'll end the competition, but it won't stop me from fishing. She'll sit in the truck and play around on Facebook. I'll go to another pond and give it a try. Man, I even told her to go to the, hey babe, go to that corner and you'll catch fish. Um, that's how she always ended up kicking my butt. I tell her what to do instead of like me doing, you know, what I tell her to do. But for me, it ain't about the numbers. It's about the size. Granted, it should be about numbers because it's competition, but she's got another one. My goodness. Now she's winning by five. Yep, you're winning by five now. All right, guys, so as I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized I never did an outro because that day was the day that I went to Allen Creek after this challenge and went and caught that big muskie. I wasn't thinking about doing an outro then. But in conclusion, she beat my butt. She beat me by five fish, but I gave her the lure to do so, and I told her where to go. So it's still a win in my book. We both had fun. Get out there in tight lines, everybody. I'll catch you on the next episode of Weird Beard Fishing.